The city's not falling apart. That's the good news. If you're traveling along Yonge Street, just south of the 401, you may see this, this massive sinkhole that's blocking the two right lanes here on Yonge Street. City crews are working endlessly to try to fill it by the weekend, and they say the aging infrastructure and fluctuating temperatures are to blame. Anytime we get a quick cold snap, uh, or if we get go from a cold snap to a warm snap like we have now, uh, we get the ground shifting with those transitions. So every time the ground shifts, our older water mains, especially the cast iron water mains, will crack. They're brittle and they'll crack under that pressure of the ground. Since December 28th, about 250 water main breaks. That's about three times what we'd normally have to date around this time. While crews repair this sinkhole, power and water in the apartments nearby have been turned off concerning some nearby residents. If it doesn't come tonight, my fear, and I'm a member of the board in our condo, because we have a glycol system, we have no heating. Yeah. If we have no heating, the deep freeze that's expected for tomorrow night is going to present a real problem for our residents. And they're going to have to do something because we can't, we can't go for two days like this. This city allocated $150 million this year just for water main breaks and $2 billion over the next 10 years. We do have older infrastructure, but it's not to the point where it's all falling apart all over the place. Um, as long as we can keep up with this uh, and, and put the amount of money we do in every year, you'll see the water main breaks reduce year over year. City crews tell me that this sinkhole here on Young Street is expected to be repaired by the weekend.